Hey guys, this is Bobby with So Sick Designs, and I'm back once again with another video. And I wanted to do a video today uh, based off of uh, horror films and certain creatures uh, that we've grown to despise or be afraid of. And I wanted to focus on two of the main ones that I've always been, that's been one of the most gruesome out of the two. And uh, the concept of this artwork was, which one would be better? Which one would win out of a battle? Now, mind you, both of them, if, if we can all talk about horror movies, um, all played a, a very uh, gruesome and scary role. Uh, and let's, let's first off, let's talk about the zombie itself. Um, I remember dating back to certain movies, um, you know, uh, Day of the Dead, uh, um, Evil Dead, um, when we think of, uh, uh, all other movies, there's so many of them that I can't even think of all of them, uh, from the top of the head, but, uh, most of them always had different types of, uh, zombies, and what zombies themselves are pretty much, uh, creatures that are supposed to be, uh, physically dead, or mentally dead, I'm sorry, but the body is physically still um, capable of feeding and eating flesh. So what's scary about it is that where they might not have the capabilities of intelligence, they are still capable of locating prey and they won't stop until they do. Um, they're, they, they're able to rip off flesh like it's nothing, their strength um, and their stamina is something that's really unmatched. So um, there are so many ways that they can, they can you know, get you. Uh, they can smell, um, even with the, uh, the, the Walking Dead, um, that's a show that basically takes survival to a whole nother level. Uh, but even in the movie, you see that even zombies are capable of doing certain things. But once they get you, they can get you in groups. And they can, and once they get you, it's like, you know, limbs, everything is coming off. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I say they, they have their pros and cons. But one of the biggest things about them is, again, is their stamina, their, their strength. And their ability to just uh, pursue whatever it is that they're they're going after. And on the flip side of that, you know, you have uh, the competitor, uh, which is the wolf, werewolf. And I've seen so many movies on that. Uh, I've been pretty scared of a, lo a lot of them in my in my days. When you think of uh, werewolves that have the ability of, of everything, pretty much. Uh, smell, sight, um, in the dark, uh, agility, strength, um, and they're also, uh, a creature that can rip you up in half, um, and there's always been said that they can get killed by a silver bullet, uh, they, or their weaknesses that they, uh, you know, at, at certain times when the moon reaches, they can transform back, uh, or the moon is, is, is uh, going away, and it's not a full moon, they transfer back, uh, but however, uh, once they are a werewolf, it's almost impossible to outrun them or do anything, because of the sense of the smell, even their, their sight, everything about them is in, in the hand. Now, the thing about it is, there's so many different scenarios that you can put out between the two. Um, but if it was to be on a hand-on-hand -hand combat, in my opinion, the wolf would definitely win. Um, not just because of um, the fact of it being either bigger or stronger, but just the simple fact that it just has so much arsenal um, with on its side. Um, where... You know, it, it's so many ways that the wolf can attack uh, a zombie. 
so many strategies that the wolf can do, um, in my opinion, that would be counteractive to a zombie. However, if we were to switch the scenario around, then you can have another subject by saying if it's a group of zombies, or if it's because, you know, a lot of movies you see them in packs. So if you got to deal with several zombies at one time, I feel like the wolf would have, the werewolf would not be able to take on that. That would be way too much for it to handle. And when it comes to number, numbers, the zombie would be able to win. So I guess in, in a sense, it, it, it depends on the scenario. So if it was a scenario between a one-on-one fight and the wolf, I believe, well, werewolf would definitely be the victor. But however, you know what? That's that's my opinion on on it. That's my take on it. Um, I'm I'm curious about you guys. What is, what is your take on it? What do you think? Uh, do you really think that the zombie would have the upper hand when it comes to that, or would it be the werewolf that would be the victor in this case? Um, definitely, you can leave your comments below. Let me know how you feel about it, and also let me know what you think of the artwork itself. And as always. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel to help the So Sick Squad grow. And you can also check me out on uh, my Instagram page um, if you also want to look at more content. Um, and that will be um, on the uh, channel below. I'll leave a description uh, below for you guys. And I will see you again shortly with another video. Peace. <laughs> Thank you.